Who owns big business? Today, the answer must be passive investors. They are large shareholders in countless firms all over the world. In the USA, the three biggest passive investors already constitute the single largest shareholder in 40% of all listed firms. How did this happen? The financial crisis of 2008 changed everything. After the financial market crashed, investors fundamentally changed the way they buy stocks. Before, they invested in actively managed funds. Active fund managers buy stocks they believe will outperform, and they get paid well for this. But after the crisis, passively managed funds grew rapidly. Passive funds basically buy stocks of all firms that are part of an index, such as the S&P 500. They are much cheaper, but perform as well as most active funds. As a result, investors sold off $800 billion of actively managed mutual funds, while passive funds attracted $1,000 billion. This huge and growing market of passive investment is dominated by only three big American asset managers, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street. What are the consequences of this shift in corporate ownership? This is a key question for the CorpNet research team at the University of Amsterdam. Using data analytics, they uncovered this intense concentration of corporate ownership. Together, the big three are the dominant shareholder in 88% of the 500 largest US firms. Of all US listed corporations, they are the largest shareholder in 1600, which together employ 23 million people and have a market capitalization of $17 trillion. That is the same as the GDP of the whole United States. And with the ownership of firms comes shareholder power. This means that the big three can vote on important issues such as who runs the corporation or executive compensation. But do they use their power? In fact, this is not so easy for them. The shares they own are divided over many separate funds. If they want to maximize their shareholder power, they need to make sure all shares they own through all their different funds vote in the same way. CorpNet found that the big three indeed coordinate their voting and thus centralize their shareholder power. Does this worry the CEOs of big business? Maybe not. The big three vote against management in only 10% of all votes. But they do influence management behind closed doors through private engagements. The big three may be passive investors, but they certainly are active owners. This means that the fundamentals of corporate governance are changing. Regulators and the public had better wake up to this new reality. And at CorpNet, we continue our quest to better understand who rules big business today and tomorrow. <laughs>